Hello hello everyone, this is Man United inside again on it, welcome back, Anthony, Jaden Sancho and Anthony Marshall to be dumped by Man United in January, the underwhelming trio of Anthony, Jaden Sancho, and Anthony Marshall all face their Manchester United career being cut short in the January transfer window. The Sun reports that all three players could be dumped in the winter market as part of a player recruitment shakeup brought about by Sir Jim Ratcliffe's impending arrival at the club. It is stated in the newspaper that Ratcliffe is demanding explanations for the eye-watering £1.4 billion that has been spent on players since Sir Alex Ferguson called it a day on his managerial career in May 2013. This has led to the Mancunian billionaire deciding to implement a massive overhaul of the club's scouting department and acquisition network. It is normal that the British businessman would want to stamp his authority on the club from the get-go. The publication goes on to claim that not only players, but higher-ups could be on Ratcliffe's hit list. The Sunwriter, Ken Lawrence, asserts that CEO Richard Arnold, football director John Murto and director of football operations David Harrison are in jeopardy of being fired and replaced once Ineos rubber stamped their 25% purchase of the club. Ratcliffe, the lifelong fan, is said to be exasperated at the vast sums wasted since the Red Devils' last Premier League title in 2013. The article highlights the £89 million on Paul Pogba, £85.5 million on Anthony, £75 million on Lukaku and the £73 million on Sancho as illustrations of such wastage. This return has only led to the meager total of four major trophies in a decade, two League Cups, one FA Cup and one Europa League. The manager, currently in the hot seat, Eric Ten Hag, is said to retain the support of Ineos and Ratcliffe and he still has credit in the bank. However, the fact that one of the Dutchman's marquee signings Antony is not only embroiled in legal problems but also performing at a comically low level must be a concern. The Sun article goes on to claim that Ten Hag has spent £374 million on initial fees since taking over the managerial reins in May 2022 and as the People's Person has recently stated, the recruitment has been questionable at best. Apparently Ratcliffe has already held discussions with co-chairman Joel Glazer over United's whole football structure and hopes to make a flurry of changes at board and player level. This could lead to the sale of underperforming players. It is hard to fathom that £73 million Sancho and £40 million Donny van de Beek are currently outcasts at the club for differing reasons. The scarcely believable £85.5 million outlay on Antony is also incredibly hard to stomach given his performances so far this season. However, it is unlikely that these players will all be sold in the January window. Antony's agent has recently rubbished reports of such a move. This claim has also been backed up by the reliable Fabrizio Romano. Moreover, despite frequent links away from the club, it is far-fetched to suggest the club will sanction any move for Marshall unless their light attacking options are bolstered. One such option is Porto striker Mehdi Taremi. However, it is yet to be seen whether the club will move for the experienced Iranian goalgetter in the winter market. The most likely sale is certainly that of Sancho. The Englishman is yet to apologize to the Dutch coach and since the game against Arsenal in September, has been sidelined from the senior team. The 23-year-old has even apparently removed from the first team's WhatsApp group. Never a dull moment for Manchester United fans. The lack of any sign of rapprochement between Sancho and Ten Hag coupled with the fact the club has been looking at right-wingers since the summer, probably suggests the England international is the most likely winter departure by a significant distance. Whether or not any of this transpires as rapidly as January is anyone's guess, but what is clear is, none of the three mentioned players seem to have any serious long-term future at the club and the Red Devils will need to upgrade on all of them to scale the dizzying heights of the Premier League summit. Sir Jim Ratcliffe could sack Manchester United CEO Richard Arnold, football director John Murto and director of football operations David Harrison on Monday when takes control of the club's football operations, according to The Sun. The British billionaire and Ineos owner is closing in on the acquisition of 25% of the Old Trafford club and is expected to start calling the shots on major footballing decisions next week. Ratcliffe is expected to oversee a major overhaul at Man United, and the jobs of the aforementioned trio are at risk. The OGC Nice owner is shocked that the Red Devils have spent around £1.4 billion on players since Sir Alex Ferguson left in 2013 in exchange for just one FA Cup, two League Cups and a Europa League title. 
Ed Woodward was Man United CEO from 2012 to 2022 before Arnold succeeded him. Murto was named Director of Football in March 2021 having spent five years as the Director of Development while Harrison was only appointed in February of this year. Nevertheless, they could all be made to pay for the underwhelming campaigns the Red Devils have had in recent years as Ratcliffe comes on board. Ineos director of sports and his right-hand man Sir Dave Brailsford is expected to join him at Man United and play a significant role when it comes to making key decisions about major calls. The Old Trafford club paid £89 million for Paul Pogba, £75 million for Romelu Lukaku and £59.7 million for Angel Di Maria, and all flopped, while results are yet to be seen for the £85.5 million paid for Anthony, the £73 million for Jadon Sancho, the £44.5 million for Anthony Marshall and the £40 million for Donny van de Beek. Manager Eric Ten Hag also brought in Andre Onana, Mason Mount, Rasmus Hodgland and Sofian Amrabat during the last summer transfer window, and only the Denmark international has managed to impress even though he is yet to open his goal-scoring account in the Premier League. Rasmus Hodgland says Manchester United played well if you don't look at the result and focus on the first 20 minutes, Manchester United star Rasmus Hodgland saw positive in the team's performance despite a nightmare result against FC Copenhagen. Manchester United forward Rasmus Hodgland asserted that the team did quite well despite the disastrous result against FC Copenhagen. United lost 4-3 to Copenhagen in the Champions League Group A away game and they're currently fourth in the table. Hodgland scored an early goal in the third minute of the game against his former club. Scott McTominay drove through the byline before playing the ball across the six-yard for the Dane to make a tap-in. The 20-year-old scored his second goal in the 28th minute to give the Red Devils a two-goal lead. Alejandro Garnacho made a break after a through ball from Bruno Fernandes but Copenhagen keeper Kamil Grabera deflected his shot. Nevertheless, the ball fell into Hodgland to make another open goal tap-in. United forward Marcus Rashford received a red card in the 42nd minute leading to a complete collapse for the team. Copenhagen equalized before the halftime and despite United regaining the lead in second half, Copenhagen won the game eventually. Hodgelin told TNT Sports, Hat Tip BBC, that the team did quite well in the first 20 minutes of the game. He said, of course, we started very well, we controlled the game until the red card and that changed the game of course. If you don't look at the result and focus on the first 20 minutes, we did quite well. United signed Hodgland from Serie A side Atlanta for £72 million during the summer transfer window. The Denmark international has endeared himself to the United fans with his fantastic overall performances this season. The former Copenhagen youth player has scored all of his goals for the Red Devils in the Champions League competitions. Unfortunately, United lost each of the games in which Hodgland delivered in front of the goals. Additionally, the 20-year-old is yet to score a goal in the Premier League for United. United fans would be